I've got a joke for you. A coronary bypass and a gastric bypass walk into a bar. Oh wait, that's not a joke, it's a new study. And the punchline's on us. Here's the actual study title. Call to make bariatric surgery as common as coronary bypass. Really? I don't know who's making the call here, but I can tell you this, they're flat out wrong. According to this very small study of only 60 people, about a third were able to discontinue their diabetes medications after undergoing bariatric surgery. But the people in the control group who received a one-year lifestyle intervention didn't have the same results. So of course, the researchers concluded that lifestyle intervention wasn't effective and called for a dramatic increase in the use of bariatric surgery instead. But there are some pretty big holes in this study that really need to be filled before coming to such an extreme conclusion. First of all, when your stomach is surgically reduced to the size of an egg, you will obviously eat less and lose weight. But there are some serious side effects to this type of drastic surgery. Things like serious nutrient deficiencies and gastrointestinal distress every time you eat. Not to mention the people in the lifestyle group were at a disadvantage at the outset. The lifestyle strategies were centered around a supposedly healthy diet that was between 12 and 1800 calories a day and an intense exercise regimen. Plus, we have no idea what the healthy diet consisted of besides restricted calories. My guess is adding healthy fats and eliminating processed carbs wasn't part of the plan. So no doubt these patients felt deprived and were set up to fail. The fact is, bariatric surgery is not a cure-all and far from it. It may lead to weight loss, but more often than not, you trade in those extra pounds for some serious side effects. Fortunately, there are safe, effective alternatives. When my obese patients follow my complete metabolic repair protocol, they lose significant amount of weight without starving themselves. And nearly all of them can eventually come off their medications completely, or at the very least, seriously reduce them. You can learn more about it by clicking on the link below. Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred.